Greg, big session today and uh, a big few weeks ahead for the Ireland women's team heading off on tour to Japan. Yeah, look, it's just really exciting. You know, we have a lot of girls who've worked hard all summer. Uh, we've had you know 51 in our summer programme. We've got 29 that are lucky enough to travel. Um, and just to come in to get together, to get the, the kit on, uh, to be in the meeting room together and, and to start getting down to the hard work is, is exciting for everybody. And this morning was one of our installs, so it's just getting our system and a bit of our work and our units uh, going and we're happy with where we are. There's plenty of familiar faces in the squad, but there's also quite a few new young players yeah. come in. Talk to us a little bit about that. Yeah, I, I think whenever you pick any squad, like, you're always trying to look for a good balance. Oh, we've got good experience, you know, uh, players who were heavily involved in last year's Six Nations, heavily involved in a number of years. And then, you know, there's four girls who just sat there leaving cert that were taken on tour. Uh, they're talented, you know, they're they're talented. They've got good footwork, they've got good uh, handling skills, they got they read the game well, um, and they've got good attitudes. Uh, they're hungry, they're ambitious, they're driven. So they suit the model that we're trying to have as a squad. And, you know, that's all, you know, all respect to the senior leadership group and, and to Nicola. They drive those standards and we have these players that fit them. I'm just excited to, to let them off and see what they've got. They've come through the National Talent Squad, a lot of them would have played in the Ireland 18s. Uh, a lot of them have come through the provincial and, and through the club. And it's great to see like likes of Tullow being represented, Tullamore being represented. It's great, you know, like there's there's a lot of clubs around the country are doing great work and we've managed to find these talented players that have lots to offer and there's more out there. And you know, I think part of our job while we're preparing for Japan and focusing on Japan. And there has been discussions around contracts is there's talent out there it's about finding those talented players and, and having a look at them and seeing what they have to offer you mentioned contracts there i mean a huge announcement for for irish rugby last yeah. week about contracts how does that weigh delighted oh, i mean how good right i mean uh, i just think it's so good for uh, the past players that put so much effort in so i'm just very grateful to have an opportunity to to be involved in that and you know I have a staff that I'm just so happy with that are working hard and uh, it's about the collective it's about everybody it's about Gillian coming in now and having such a big role David New Sephora as well you know we we know there's a big job in hand and we're, we're rolling the sleeves up and getting to it. Ahead of that though and I, and I mean I know that's at the back of everyone's minds yeah. now but you've got this historic tour to Japan yeah. excited for it? I can't wait I mean contracts I, I'm not really thinking about contracts at all uh, I'm thinking about Japan and just getting out there and, and playing two tests against a side that are preparing for a rugby world cup uh, they went on a series win against Australia they're competitive against South Africa I mean, we're going over there with what would be perceived a, a young squad and we're testing a youth, but we've got experienced players that have stepped up significantly since the Six Nations and have really trained well. I think we've got a good mix and I'm just looking forward to going out there and, and seeing how we can improve and, and hopefully we're seeing that improvement on the field.